take one. As a person who really wants to do acting as my career, I find that you know the teachers here give really great opportunities to learn about the business and learn what you need to do and the steps that you need to take in order to continue on and do what you want to do. I think a lot of people, they, they think acting is just like standing up on the stage and you're pretending, right? That's it, you just have to pretend to say these lines. But in reality, you're building an entire world. When you go to step on stage or you go to step in front of a camera, you actually have a world to fall into. If you don't build that world, you don't have anything. My favorite thing about acting is it's nice to give yourself an excuse to be fun, do what you want, be goofy, be very eccentric, be someone interesting that stands out. It's kind of neat. I really like the fact that Cape Fear is in a town where film has been a huge part of it. And the fact that Cape Fear is such a smaller school, you get that more one-on-one -on -one attention. and It just helps you focus your craft. So I got to retire out of the Army and come to Cape Fear. I love the techniques we're learning in our acting classes. And it's just Cape Fear is really welcoming to veterans. So there's different actors, different teachers. In the end, we're all trying to tell the story. And I come from a place of, of Meisner methodology that just really means that using yourself, uh, behaving truthfully under imaginary circumstances. So starting with learning to uh, talk and listen, and, and it sounds very simple, but we do a lot of exercises based on simple things like that. You know, at best, all acting, we learn something about the human condition. And I think that's why, you know, you, you may see a movie or a film or a TV show that isn't necessarily your wheelhouse, it's about police or it's about doctors or it's about, but if, uh, if there's some sort of humanity in it and there's stakes and it's honest and talking and listening, it's great. It's about the emotion and, and how do you have emotion without setting the scene? We create the scenes that these others have thought of. That to me is so cool.